that would have gone soft just like we've got the soft hills on the horizon so I don't want to mess about too much with this lighter area it's a nice sort of sun effect coming through there so I'm going to clean the brush and uh, I think I'll go for a, put a tree line in over on the left somewhere so I'm just going to mix ultramarine, lemon yellow and Payne's grey and then somewhere I don't want to go over this, uh, I quite like that little misty bit there so maybe come down then up and down, just up or down and that comes down onto the bank up there clean the brush just keep trying to vary the colour maybe just a bit of raw sienna there pushing it up into that green bit touch of ultramarine again just just trying to change and just varying it as we come down the hill that was ultramarine uh, burnt umber sorry I'm not cleaning the brush at all I'm just flicking from one from one colour to the next well some really dark ones now right in the uh, coming close to the foreground I'll clean the brush and then bakes maybe just a raw sienna again so that's the left hand side again ultramarine lemon yellow Payne's grey. This time I'll start a bit higher up I think. Again I don't want to paint over all these nice little misty edges so I'm just, I'm just sort of working my way around and that's the beauty when you just when you're the artist you just got complete control especially if you're making one up which is what I'm doing here just making it up as I go along you've got just complete freedom to do anything you want. This would be like a typical Scottish Scottish lock type scene landscape and again I'm just working my way down I'm just going just flick just flicking at random through the colours basically just to keep getting variation working my way down I might even give a few flicks the odd little tree trunk here and there but not so much. It's just still slightly too wet to do that. I'm clean the brush. Just go into raw sienna. I mean raw sienna is just a really nice neutral colour. You can use it pretty much anywhere. And just work your way down the hill. The edges of the uh, the hairs have started to come together. So if you just dip the tips in the water, it just brings all the edges, the hairs back together. So you end up with a nice sharp edge. And then some closer bushes down there. So that's that bit of hillside. Now I might go for a quick sweep round. Just darken that up slightly. Yeah, another quick sweep. Put a little bit of light red into that again, just to. And then what I do a lot of the time, if I want to darken it, I don't go into the the browns or the or the greys. Just a little bit of blue, just to. Just to help with that uh, darkness. 
Now what I might just do here, that's, it, I don't want this to look too close, I want to create the uh, illusion of distance. But I could still do it maybe, just to break up this foreground area again.